great to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having us. This place is cool. Black Magic's happy to have you. I didn't know you were here in Oklahoma. I've been here tattooing in Oklahoma City since it became legal 12 years ago. That was so recent. So recent. We're really excited to be here. We're excited to see what you guys have to offer. Have at it. Shop is yours. Thanks. Right. We'll see you later. Right. They've only been tattooing here for 12 years. That's nothing. That means it's just entering puberty, and that's such an awkward phase. I'm Rakim Amos Kepara. Everyone calls me Muse. I've been tattooing for 16 years. I specialize in a style that I came up with, and it's called traditional Africana. It's the merging of all the styles, and especially my experiences from Africa. I love telling a story on every level of the tattoo. Well, Oklahoma City is pretty much just a constant surprise thus far, so I'm very excited. Hey! Hey! What's, what's up? up? Well, Hali Ghani, how are you? What language is that? That's Swahili. Is that where you're from? I trace my roots to Africa, so I bring my roots with me wherever I go. Do you bring those roots in your tattoos? Absolutely. Every piece that I do, I bring my cultural understanding with me, so. That's, oh, that's so rad. Awesome. We'll see how you do against these other competitors we have coming in. Asante. I'm Drew Shirtliff. I've been tattooing for 18 years. I specialize in photorealism, anything that's bright, vibrant, high intensity, dynamic colors. It's time to prove to the rest of the world I'm the best. Hey. Holy hey. crap, hey. what's going on? Drew wow. freaking shirtless. Uh, you know each other. Somebody broke into my shop, and his tattoo shop lent me tattoo stuff to tattoo with. Respect, but I'm gonna have to whoop your butt. Yeah, I think one have to do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, is there any style of tattooing that you fear a little bit? I take on every challenge with open arms. I have no fears of tattooing. What do we gotta do to scare you guys? <laughs> it's gonna be really hard. My name is Derek Sharp. I've been tattooing for 12 years. I am a very versatile artist, but I am known for my neo-traditionalism. People always told me that sitting around drawing, that's not going to get you anywhere in life. Look at me now. Hey! Wow. How are you? Hey. I've heard of you. I've actually fixed a lot of your tattoos. Wow. OK. All right. You're coming hey. in hot. Who are you? I'm Derek Sharp. I've been working my ass off for the last 10 years, building the best shop in Oklahoma City. So have you ever competed before? No, I have not. This will be my first Ooh. time. So I'm going balls to the wall this time. Obviously, none of you guys ever took tattooing for granted. You're here today because you've worked for it. Should make for a good competition. Oh, yeah. All right, this is how this competition is gonna go down. We are gonna have two elimination rounds, and one artist is gonna be eliminated each round. The last one of you standing is going to be able to face off against one of us angels at the angel face off. Sounds good. Awesome. The angel you're going to be facing off against is me, y'all. I want someone who's going to make me nervous because it doesn't really happen often. Don't underestimate Oklahoma. Have you ever seen that video where the boa constrictor swallows the alligator whole, just kills that thing? <laughs> That's actually her baby videos. <laughs> <laughs> if the person that faces off against Nikki ends up beating Nikki, you're guaranteed a spot on Ink Master where you're gonna have the opportunity to win $100,000. Yeah. Nice. You guys are gonna have two tiny hours for your first elimination tattoo. They go by so fast. <laughs> and you know what else goes by so fast? Tornadoes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Are we excited? No. Tornadoes are not easy to tattoo. Why is that? It's hard to make it look and represent as a tornado. Here, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to put you right over there. <laughs> there we go. Good. Perfect. All right. So we're going to be judging you on style, shading, outline, and your overall application. I mean, we're not asking much. <laughs> no, we are. We're asking them to blow us away. <laughs> nice. No pun intended. Get set up, and we're going to send in your canvases. Awesome. All right. Good luck. You ready, Muse? I'm ready, man. You better worry about your attack. Hopefully, I don't have to fix this tattoo. Derek's going to be fixing your tattoos. You ready for that? Who is Derek? Derek, nice to meet you. 
nice to meet you, man. What's going on? I'm Michael. Very nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. All right, artists, you have two hours to tattoo tornadoes any style. And your time starts now. All right, man. You ready? Yeah. And that's kind of my color schemes right there. All right. So the piece that I drew is reflective of the devastation that it causes. What's not hard about two-hour tornado tattoos? We're asking these artists to show us that they can do a tattoo of wind blowing in a specific direction. Perfect. This challenge is crazy. All right, man, here we go. Tornado in a heart and a flying cow? Yes. Do you usually do that color black and gray combo? No, I was just switching it up. You are very tenacious. I like that. Thank you. Going for it. If I have put in all this work for the last 12, 13 years, I want to prove that it is worth it. Struggle sucks. You have to actually go through it to learn how the struggle is, and it's a very hard thing to try to teach to two teenage sons. <laughs> he totally sucked at it. That's right, man. <laughs> I don't want them to have to go through the things like I had to go through being 30 before I start getting my together. It's the same thing with life, you know, you, you work hard even if it's not what you want to do, but it's worth it in the end. Check that out, so it's really like graphic is what you're going for. I thought you were a realism artist. Yeah, two hours doesn't seem like a realism tattoo to me. True. It's not about having something that's gonna be really impactful to start. It's about showing that I know what I'm doing. Do what? I said I really like the gray in here. Yeah, it's really coming <laughs> together. If I make it to Ink Master, I'm gonna be missing the birth of my child. We'll do the elephant on the right. You wanna do the elephant on the right? Yeah, and the and owl on the left. Owl. Yeah. Taking my career to this next level could allow my wife to not have to work near as hard to help support us. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't wait. I love you. Are you gonna have time to finish this? I should. That didn't sound very confident. You have one hour left. What? Whoa, this is a Ooh. much different approach than the other two. I'm deciding to put a tornado into a sort of parable. It may seem like a storm, but if you keep your stillness, you can be calm until whatever the situation is passes. Hotep di Nesu Netara, Anpu Webwad Nebta Jessup, Perkaru Charta Apsi Netraari Mekaru. I bring my spirituality with me and I give that to my son. You can go first. Every time I go first, I'll lose. <laughs> always be yourself and always look inside yourself for approval. Positive reinforcement in every aspect. You and this tattoo are so zen. It gotta be. He's gonna get in there now and start chiseling out some nice details. I think he thinks that Buddha is finished. He's gonna learn today. We are done ski. Drew's tattoo looked like my son did it. I don't know if it's gonna make the cut, but it's really nice. And what's his face's tattoo looks like a coloring book. Very nice. This is not gonna be easy. Three totally different styles. I have to give points to Drew because I feel like I'm seeing a variety of fundamentals in that tattoo. Every one of his lines that he put into that tornado was pretty solid. You think Drew has a better outline over Derek? Derek's lines crisscross all over the place. But there was a lot of really cool things happening in Derek's tattoo. I like that Derek had the forethought to do something for America's heartland, and he did that shape of the heart to encapsulate the tornado scene. But with that many elements all crammed together, you can't really decipher what's what. Well, if we're talking about readability, then we have to talk about Muse. He falters when it comes to the rendering of the actual Buddha. It kind of looks like his arm is presenting a squiggle leaf with his flipper paw. 
I do love how he had the Buddha in the foreground and a really huge twister behind him. There's gotta be one of these guys that hit the mark more than the others. My tattoo has a story. A story that nobody cares to hear. Mine is technically sound. It's a spirograph. A little kid could do. This coming from the guy that's got a heart tornado. Hey, how are you guys? Hey, what's up ladies? I love hearing all this debate and we had to debate as well, but we have come to a decision. The winner of today's elimination tattoo is... Drew. Yes. Even though it is a little bit on the simple side, it is a more readable and clean tattoo than your competitors. That's not right. Drew should go home first because his tattoo is incomplete. He didn't finish his tattoo either. I think my tattoo is very sound. The line work, shading, color is all solid. The tornado was supposed to be the focal point of this challenge, and it ended up looking more like an afterthought. Muse. I love a story, but leaving that Buddha until the end, those details are not as pristine. One of you will be eliminated today, and the artist who will be eliminated is...